hey, hey, what's up, what's up, peace, everybody, okay, so I'm here today to show you how you can identify trickster spirits, the unmanifested, or dark forces in tarot. If you can identify the dark forces in the use of tarot as a reader, it will allow you to give your client the best experience because you'd be able to provide them with more information that is detailed. And this information will help to, um, will help them to identify the sources in their life that are creating problems for them. So I have two of um, my favorite decks that I, I work with and um, I'm just going to pull a few cards um, to help you identify these forces. Some of you may, have, may already be aware of this, that is fine. This video is not for you. It is a basic video or a basic teaching for those who are interested in learning, whether they refer to themselves as advanced tarot readers or basic or mediocre. Anyone who is interested in tarot can apply this and um, they themselves will see the benefit that will come from it. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? So the first card in this deck is the King of Cups. All right. If you see the King of Cups here, this is like a man, right? It looks like a man, but it also looks like a tree. Basically, what's going on is... It is saying that this is the man that are, that is, this is a man that is exemplifying characteristics of a tree. All right? So this man, if you look at a tree, it's hard for you to see the upper limbs and the upper portion of the tree because you have all the leaves covering it. So you cannot see what's in those limbs. If it's a snake up there, if it's a hawk up there, you can't see anything. But, you know, there's a lot of things that are hidden underneath those leaves in a tree. All types of nests and birds that are existing there, so on and so forth. All types of um, creatures. All right? So basically, overall, what this card is saying is that the man, there's a man in your presence that's disguised. He's wearing a disguise. And this is associated with water, so it's dealing with emotions. You understand? So we're not going to get into the meaning of the card, um, but we are saying, we are letting you know, I am letting you know that we are dealing with a man who is in your environment, within, you know, that is in your life, who is wearing a disguise right now. Don't trust him. <laughs> this is a trickster spirit. This man is up to something, regardless of how nice and sweet he comes off as. He's hiding something. Okay. This here is the King of Wands. He's the master of fire. He rules over fire. But why is there a... Why is this so important? It is important because there is someone within your environment, whether you're male or female, there is someone within your environment that is challenging you. Okay? They are challenging your authority. This is what you don't see in the picture. But what they're showing is your reflection. This is your reflection. You understand? The reflection of your soul, of the unseen. What's going on in the underworld? You understand? Um, this is you. This is how you're reigning. 
They say you're reigning like a king when it comes to power, when it comes to energy. You're setting an example. You're acting as a leader. Your enemies are following suit. You're attractive, and you're attractive because you do what you want to do and not what others want you to do. You challenge the natural authority of things. You understand? So this is what this card is saying is that this is the energy that you need to harmonize with in order to achieve success. Because there is someone in your environment that is challenging you. They are challenging your authority. Stand strong. And that someone that is in this person's environment is a trickster spirit. They're trying to, um, they're trying to steal their power, okay? They're trying to weaken them. And this is, this person is, um, once you start to point this person out to the client, automatically they're going to know who that is. Okay, here we have the Ten of Wands. They're showing you the trickster, the hand of the trickster spirit right here. This is his hand right here. He's holding a bolt of lightning, and he is oppressing this poor man. Well, this poor man is allowing himself to be oppressed by this trickster spirit. You understand? What's happening here in this case is that the trickster spirit is urging him to comply with the law. He needs to get creative. He needs to, um, he needs to display some sort of creativity that's going to help him get out of the situation without violating himself any further or anyone else. You understand? This, this is saying that this is someone who is also carrying a lot of burdens. You know what I'm saying? And if they were to measure the burdens that they carry in all honesty and truth, they will see that they can afford to let some of them go, which will make things easier for them. Okay? So if you want to know who's oppressing you, this person who is holding the bolt of lightning in your life, it is a trickster spirit. They are oppressing you because they are wanting you to become creative. Use your creativity. Find a way to get out of this situation. Let something go. Okay, here's the second deck. We're going to go into the second deck because I don't want this video to get too long. But I just want to give you guys a general idea of how to identify the trickster spirit in a good deck of tarot. You understand? A good deck of tarot. Because um, you'll see decks such as this deck here, New Orleans Voodoo Tarot. Most of the images, most of them, majority of them only have one, they only have one person. I don't know if you guys can see this, but the reflection is probably not good, but um, this is Santera of Santeria in the New Orleans Voodoo Tarot deck. So they only show like one person, you know, and, you know, it's hard. A lot of people cannot work with this deck because they're like, what, what does this, you know what I'm saying? You're only seeing one person on the card. But you have to identify with the image that's on the card. You have to, when you look at that card, you have to know that you're looking in a mirror. I didn't say think. I didn't say pretend. I didn't say act like. I said know that the image that you are looking at is your reflection. You understand? They're telling you, they're showing you an x-ray of your spirit. And what you need to do in order to either maintain the harmony, establish the harmony, harmony, or to um, just, you know, find a way to, I don't know, just find a way to, to, to maintain the harmony if there's this harm, if there 
if there was disharmony in the past, or establish harmony if there's disharmony, point blank, period. All right, so like I said, we're looking here at Santera, and um, this is of Santeria, and this is from the New Orleans Voodoo Tarot deck. In this image, we see a woman here, um, and she's holding her hand out, and there's a snake who's rising up to like, looks like he's wanting to take something from her hand. The snake itself represents the trickster spirit. Represents the trickster spirit. And this is a very nurturing woman. She corresponds with the queen of pentacles in um, traditional tarot. But she is, she's naked, she's new, so they're saying that she's without you understand, which means that she's without fear, she's without guilt, she's without anything that taints her. You understand, she's pure. Um, she has nothing to hide, she's just open. She's not worried about anything. So if this trickster spirit tries to harm her, there's a re you're gonna see the reason why she's not worried. That's all I gotta say. You're gonna find out the reason why she's not worried. And these are trees that are in the swamp, and they actually represent other people, other tricksters. Other tricksters. So she's like in, in, in the world of the devil. You know what I'm saying? This is where the devil resides. Maybe she's surrounded by tricksters. And the reason is, is because she's a centera, which means that she's a priestess, and her... Um, her reason for being is to heal. So she's going to attract, naturally she's going to attract tricksters to her so that way she can do her job. Oh boy, oh boy, I love Ayusan. Okay. She corresponds with the Empress in traditional tarot. Yes, she is very familiar with demons because um, she is demon, demons and trickster spirits and the unmanifested dark forces are all the same. It, the names just actually come from perception, different perceptions of life, different traditions and things of that nature. So please don't get offended by terminology that I use, you know what I'm saying? Um, I just use words as a means to ex explain. If I can communicate with you telepathically, then I'd rather do that. But everybody can't communicate that way. So, the Empress, um, like I said, she corresponds with Ayasan of the New Orleans Voodoo Tarot decks, and this is she. And in the background, I know you can't see it that good, so I'll try to describe it, but in the background, she's surrounded, she's in the market, which is mean that she's in the place in the earth, and she's surrounded by dead people, you know, she's surrounded by dead people. This is how she sees the world, you know what I'm saying, because in truth, that's exactly what's going on. She's surrounded by the sleeping, the unawakened, the unconscious. And she treats them all the same way that she would treat someone who was living. You understand? They are trickster spirits. She knows how to deal with them. They are her family. And the reason why she knows how to deal with them is because... Now, I'm just giving you the translation in accordance to ATR, this particular ATR here, Voodoo, Louisiana Voodoo, how it's described in the card. Um, the reason why she is able to work with them, she dominates them, she rules over them, and the reason is, is because it is her job to balance the house of Bina and the house of Hakma. The house of Bina is the home of the trickster spirits, the trickster spirits, the ancestors, the deities, so on and so forth. All of those who came before us, who exist in, in another form, in the spiritual realm, that belongs to the house of Bina, okay? That is also the house of Capricorn, the house of Saturn. And right across from it, you have Hakma, okay? Which um, is the house of wisdom. And she balances 
those both those houses. She uses wisdom to control trickster spirits or to manipulate them or to work with them because it requires manipulation in order to work with them effectively. So she has trickster spirits all around her and it just shows you in the cards how she deals with those trickster spirits, how they benefit her. One more and then we'll close it. All right, and here you have um, Urzuli La Flambeau, who corresponds with the Seven of Wands in traditional tarot. This is a woman, if you can see her, she's, she's very passionate in this card. And she's actually, in accordance to the description, she's stomping on the corn. You understand? This is a metaphor description for something else. It is up to the reader to figure out what that is. But you want to know why she's feeling so passionate. Why does she have a sword in her hand and a, and a knife in the other hands? That lets you know that she's feeling very passionate in an angry way. You know what I'm saying? What has ticked her off? There's a trickster spirit. And the trickster spirit is urging her to honor divine law. It is urging her to utilize her power effectively because in doing so, she will gain. She will see a result. And when it's upside right, it's saying she is doing exactly that. Same thing in this picture, in this card here. Universal law is urging the empress to express love to all without biasness, without biasness, express all love to all. If you find it difficult, you need to be creative. You need to find a very, very creative way to express love to even those who appear to you as, as an enemy. So, so that's how you Basically, identify trickster spirits in the cards. I would recommend that you just go through each card on a daily basis until you're able to identify trickster spirits in every card. Even the sun has a trickster spirit. Yes, one of my most favorite cards of all. <laughs> but even the sun has a trickster spirit. You know what I'm saying? Be able to identify the trickster spirit because... You cannot give a full consultation without identifying both the light and the dark sides. You're only giving half. And if you're only giving half, you're going to be posed, the ancestors are going to pose a question to you that's going to require an answer from the other half. If you don't know the other half, you're likely to make it up. In other words, tell a lie. And that's going to put you in a very, very bad place as a predictor. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. If you know of anyone that could benefit from this lesson, please by all means uh, feel free to share, like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.